Here's one portrait of how an Afghan family formed and of women's rights in Kabul in 2015. First, Asadullah raped his wife's cousin. He was convicted and jailed for it. The beautiful girl here, whose name means smile, is the child from that rape. Born in jail because her mother, Gulnaz, here, was charged with adultery under what passes for Afghan justice as her rapist was married. Yet it got worse for Gulnaz still. To be accepted into Afghan society again, she had to marry. To marry him, become her rapist's second wife. Now, things are said to be okay, settled. Their third child is on the way. If I hadn't married her, according to our traditions, she couldn't have left back in society. Her brothers didn't want to accept her back. Now she doesn't have any of those problems. I didn't want to ruin the life of my daughter or leave myself helpless, so I agreed to marry him. We are traditional people. When we get a bad name, we prefer death to living with that name in society. This is a home built around a crime, where Asadullah's first wife lives unseen, where Little Smile has a home among his seven other children. Global uproar led the then President Hamid Karzai to pardon Gulnaz of adultery in 2011. She was offered asylum abroad, but was pushed into this deal, living here. He still denies the rape happened, saying she was told to make it up. Now she's beside me and knows that it was not as big as they had shown it. No, I am not thinking about it anymore. I don't have a problem with him now, and I don't want to think about the past problems. Gulnaz did not look at her husband once in our meeting. My life is okay. I am happy with my life. It is going on. While he lets her talk alone, he still stands outside. Four years ago, she told me she was raped, but now backs his story. Yes, she says her family would have taken her back until she married him. My brothers opposed the marriage and told me to take my daughter and go to Pakistan to live with them instead. But now we're married, they disown me and won't see me again. At 23, can anyone have imagined that their life will have turned out like this? No. I couldn't fulfill my wishes in life. I married this man. I cut relations with my family only to buy my daughter's future. Global outcry, a presidential pardon, billions of American dollars on women's rights, and still, it ends like this. A family built on one act of assault. Nick Payton Walsh, CNN, Kabul.